Hello and welcome back to my craft room. Well, <laughs> I just finished clearing the decks and getting all my piles of fabric out. There's some there and there's some on the floor. Um, and trimmings and things ready to start packing up some more whatnot kits. <laughs> and another parcel arrived. I've, um, there's a new company I've come, well, new to me company I've just come across recently called Love Me Blue. Love Me Blue that sell um, reclaimed fabrics and I could not resist um, having a look just just buying a few bits to see what they're like <laughs> so that you don't have to very excited the, the um, their website looks amazing let me show you their website just quickly okay so um, it took me a, a little while to work out how this all um, website works so we've got all these categories here, Bohemian Fabrics, Vintage Fabrics, Cottage Core, Other Fabrics, Papercraft and Bling. Um, so if I, if I have a look at Bohemian Fabrics and then you've got all the, um, you've got fabric scraps, fabric snippets, swatches, curated collections. I can't remember what I ordered now. A lot of these are very similar reclaimed um, Indian cottons and silks, sari silks and things like that um, that I've had in the bazaar packs but they're much smaller pieces having said that they're all it's different they've kind of put them together into um little collections and, and what have you i think probably you know yard for yard it's probably going to work out a little bit more expensive but they do look really beautiful there's more there as well uh fabric scraps so if i go into one of these let's let's find one that one catches my eye my sort of colors so for this, so that's uh, that's five ninety five. Eight piece bundle, each piece twenty centimeters up to twenty five. Now that's not very big. That's only about about eight inches square. Eight pieces, eight inches square, five ninety five. It's not bad though, is it? I think I, I I will have to reserve judgment till I get in and actually see what they look like. Vintage fabrics, so vintage fabric scraps. I think this might be one that I've ordered. So this is it's eleven ninety five. I love that combination of duck egg blue and salmon pink. Square pieces approximately twelve by twelve inches. <laughs> it's sometimes centimeters, sometimes inches, and it's ten pieces. So they're about they're just over a pound each, aren't they? Twelve by twelve. So they're not. It's not cheap. I I was fascinated by this one. I think I've ordered this one. Vintage nineteen sixties and seventies bedsheet fabric remnants. <laughs> 6.95 so I don't think it actually tells you how many here it's done by weight oh well, approximately 20 designs per 50 gram selection ranging from 8 centimeters to 15 so 8 centimeters is only what about 3 inches so 3 inch squares 8 centimeters to 15 which is about 6 inches so it's 3 to 6 inch squares only 20 squares it's 6.95 so not cheap but I mean how long would it take me to find bits and pieces like this you know I looked at the velvet ones I've got some lovely velvets from um, Susie just recently Susie Q I thought these looked really good just little snippets 5.95 a lucky dip selection doesn't tell you oh approximately 30 pieces per 50 grams but as small as five centimeters which is less than a couple of inches so but only 5.95 so you know for the kind of thing I do I think this is gonna be really good so I can't remember now I think I ordered a few different things different types of things from different categories just to see what they're like um, I'm trying to remember now I think it was over 35 pounds you got free UK postage so obviously I had to spend I had to spend over 35 pounds so well, I have sold a lot of um whatnot kits so anyway um I thought you'd be interested to see what's in here I'm very excited to get in now let's have a look oh and the, the other thing about them that I noticed is that they're very um as well as it, it being reclaimed fabrics which of course I love the same as the bizarre ones I'm not going off bizarre for a minute I still I think it's a, it's a different kind of thing but they're still reclaimed um, fabrics and all of their packaging is environmentally friendly as well it's either recycled or recyclable or both um, climate neutral it says on the outside of this bag let's have a look yeah so they've got a whole packaging policy you can look at on their website which is i thought was quite impressive yes yeah, so this one says climate neutral packaging let's cut this carefully because i can use this again myself okay so i've just had a quick look um 
at my emails just to check the um, check the invoice that I got for this and I've spent 42.75 so that's not far off that's about the same yeah that's about the same as I would have spent on three of the bizarre scrap packs so just to compare the two um, as I say they're, they're kind of different they're, they're kind of different but there are kind of similarities as well so I'm very interested to see how they, how they compare when I get in there mm. now these I believe this is all compostable plastic packaging as well which is really nice I think what I'm going to do is put put this into take them out of the bag because it's really loud and um and then I'll come back to you okay I've um taken them all out of the bags and I'm going to go through them one at a time so this pack is called the slow stitch junk journal craft fabric collection um, and this one's called Secret Lagoon and it was $7.95 for this pack. Here's a little card that was in with one of them or a little uh, piece of paper. Oh, there's there. I'll put, the, I'll put the link in the description box anyway. Um, I think there's a link. I'll have a check before I put this one up. I think there's a link. Yes, there is. There's a referral link I can give you um, where if you use that one, I think you get 10% off your first purchase and I get something rather as well. So if you think about buying from them, please do use that link because that's a win-win for both of us. <laughs> okay, let's have a look. So 795, the Secret Lagoon colourway. Let's bring you down a little bit. This looks very pretty. I love these kind of aqua turquoisey blues, greeny blues. So this is looking very, very pretty. Let's have a sniff now. Oh, it's a bit velvet in there as well doesn't smell foisty it doesn't smell washed either it's very beautiful lovely lovely embroidered fine kind of um, net oh, glittery glittery one oh look at that velvet oh it's got a lovely kind of scallop pattern in it oh not pretty because I have got the velvet pack as well but that colour is just gorgeous. We've had a bit of a play with the colour settings on the camera just recently and that's, it's still maybe not quite, it's a slightly more yellowish green than it's showing up, but it's, it's a lot better than it was, the, the, the colour on the camera. Very beautiful that is. Oh, look at this. Ooh. <laughs> Goose pimples are out. Oh, it's that way. Oh, look at that. It's got bling all over it. Beautiful. Yeah, I don't think... Um, it's kind of um, a more curated, tidied up version of the Bazaar kits. But my overall feeling is I won't get quite as much for my money. But um, it depends on what you want, doesn't it? You know, this is lovely. We look really nice laid over other things as well. Very nice, very happy with this. This kind of feels like silk with a cotton backing. Oh, very lush, these fabrics. I feel like that colour doesn't quite go. I still love it, but. I might end up putting that in with the velvet separate from this. Seem to have these all upside down. Oh, little shisha mirrors in that one, Nick. Beautiful. I need to speed myself up a bit. It feels like a double thickness. Yeah, it's a double thickness of the net. Oh, imagine how long it would take to do all that by hand. Is that done by hand? I mean, can that be done by machine, that kind of stitch? Okay, any expert embroiderers watching this? Hang on, let's so get it to focus. Oh, there we go. What do you think? Is this hand embroidered? Yeah, I'm not sure. If anybody can um, help me out with what that is, I'd be very grateful. This is so beautiful. Tiny, tiny sequins on there. That's better. Forgot the right way up. Yeah. Very neat on the back though. It's hard to imagine that this was done by machine, but on the other hand, 
That's a lot of work if it's done by hand. More of those tiny, kind of circular sequins with a great big hole in the middle. Very pretty, and they've got a really iridescent look to them. They're pink green, pink green. Love that. Lovely piece of lace. So, um, obviously this is a synthetic one. Some of them have felt quite silky, some cotton, some synthetics. Very lovely. It's a beautiful shade of green, that. It's again, just slightly yellower than it looks there, but we're not far off. It's a kind of a silvery, like a silvery grey, that one. It just remi makes me think of things like mermaid's tails. That's silvery blues and blue greens and yeah. Really lovely. Maybe I'll do mermaid. Can't decide, but I think that's probably that way up. Oh, this is now, is the camera going to show it? Yeah, can you see that? It's like a a mixture of pink and blue in there. There's just a little shot of pink through it with the gold of the flower. Really lush. Oh, look at this, quite heavy. Look at all the jewels in there. Oh, wouldn't this make a fabulous bag if I backed it onto something? Bag or a mermaid? Hmm. What's that plasticky? I don't know, kind of metallic plastic. I don't know what that is made of. Camera doesn't like focusing on such shiny things. It finds it difficult. I think it's the best I'm going to do. Lovely, lovely. So that was seven ninety five. I think they're really beautiful pieces. Very nicely put together. It's not cheap, but this is. I mean, these are reclaimed treasures, and I'm very happy. I'm very happy with that for that price. I think probably you get a bit more for your money with the bizarre ones, but um, with these, from what they say on the website, what you see on the in the in the picture on the website is almost almost um, exactly what you get. Um, so it's, there's not so much of a potluck element with it. So again, you know, it depends on what you want. I rather like the potluck surprise thing, but I've always been very lucky um, with my bizarre packs. I've never had one I'm disappointed with, really. So, uh... OK, let's go on to something completely different. So this is the 1960s and 70s bedsheet materials. Um, I can't remember what size these pieces were supposed to be. Um, was this one that's meant to be from 8 centimetres to 15 centimetres square, I think? And let's just check the price. So this is vintage 1960s, 1970s bedsheet fabric remnants, retro linens bundle, scrap pack, weight 50 grams. 6.95 this. <laughs> I mean, I remember the 60s and 70s. I'm sure lots of my viewers out there do also. And these very much are reminiscent of those. We didn't have quilt covers then because we hadn't all gone over to, to uh, continental quilts. Uh, um, at that stage, we were still we would have, you know, sheets and blankets and a bedspread. And in fact, that's what we've gone back to now because I just find them easier to, to wash. <laughs> Don't have to worry about a quilt. Anyway. Lovely. Oh. Now they share them all made up into one a big uh, patchwork, but um, I'm thinking some of these would be really nice to stitch into as well. I love stitching into the background pattern. I'm thinking about my Roxy thing I need to put together soon, my little kit for my, I want to do both the Roxy's Journal of Stitcheries thing, the volume three that everybody else is just finishing <laughs> and the volume four that's just been announced. But for the volume three, the garden one, I think some of these might be good. Do a 70s garden, 60s garden. Mm. Lovely. They feel, they've got that lovely soft feel when fabric's been washed a lot and, you know, they're not kind of worn out thin or anything, but they just feel really nice and soft. I love these. Just love them. I would have gone through a period of absolutely loathing them in the 80s and 90s, but now I love them again. In fact, I would have had clothes that were made out of this kind of fabric too. Oh, look at these. Don't you love those? I thought I'd say 6 95 these, weren't they? Oh, now I've forgotten again. Yeah, so 7 95 6 95 Beautiful. Good range of colours. You could kind of, because they've all got that slightly uh, 
faded look they kind of all go together you know you could put them all in one patchwork easily they're lovely it's a really nice range and they're good size pieces That one feels slightly stiff, it hasn't got that, um, maybe it was a sheet set that never got used. It doesn't feel washed, whereas these all feel like soft and washed. Right, I'm going to count these pieces, one, two, three, four. yeah, so say around 20 pieces for the 695. This was one, 18, yeah, 18, I suppose it's not far off the... 20 pieces ish for both of them right what's next oh this one's completely I, I did order um five completely different things just to get a good idea of what they're like so i can let you know really that's my excuse anyway so this one this is called uh white textured fabric mini scraps um assorted embroidered craft textiles I think I maybe went into other fabrics and then went into textured fabrics from there and then picked the white one because it looked interesting. So this is a bit more expensive. This is $9.95. Looking at it now, I'm kind of thinking, ooh, that's quite a lot to have spent on that. So these are mostly look like old laces and things, don't they? Nice. Sort of thing I'd, I'd layer up, I think. Oh, that's like a like a silk with a, with an embroidery into it self-coloured embroidery into it yeah lovely texture some kind of synthetic again something I'd enjoy embroidering into lots of very different textures for sure I'd love to have a look around their workshop wouldn't you where they put all this together Oh, that one's um interesting it's like a, it's like two layers and it's got this kind of sparkle on that bottom layer that's sort of a i don't know if it's coming up but it it's like a blue green sparkle behind it very sheer kind of chiffon or something there with the embroidery on it got that the right way up um no that's the right way up, I think. <laughs> it's lovely. It's really lovely. Oh, yeah. I mean, if you're doing like a, a fabric journal and what have you, which is what they sell these for, I guess. Um, they see, I noticed on the website they talk about junk journaling and things a lot, but they don't seem to talk about slow stitching so much. So um, maybe just haven't pick, picked up on the slow stitching thing. I don't know, it seems unlikely. This is lovely. It looks like as it hand. I find it very difficult to tell. I don't know if that's machine or hand. What do you guys think? And I can't even work out which way up it is. So it's nicely done because, yeah, I think that's the right side. That's the right side. Um, but it's, yeah, very, very tidy on the back. If it's hand done, it's... Uh, if it's hand done, it's it's nice and neat. <laughs> Mine would never look like that, especially on the back. Mm. Ooh, that one's definitely the, the front of that one. So it's sort of white gold kind of look to it, that one. Oh, look at that. <laughs> lovely um range of textures here i'd be interested to see the texture packs in different colors now i've got these i'll probably go back onto the site in a minute and have another look but i won't be to buy anything for a while i really need to sit on my hands for a little while now <laughs> it's not like i need to but uh, i couldn't resist when i saw this that's a, nice, that's a lovely texture it's like cotton thread on a cotton backing it's almost like it's cut from a a tray cloth or runner or something. 
I reckon that's probably hand done. Oh, that's sort of, I've got what you call this. Drawn, is it drawn thread work where you, I don't know. And then like a satin stitch here and crochet lace here. Could be quite old that one, don't know, do you? Again, not sure which way up that's meant to be because it looks quite good both ways. <laughs> but it's lovely, really lovely. A piece of old doily or something. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. I've been looking at some of uh, Christine's Create and Craft with Christine, some of her finds. She's been away on holiday and she's begun to, she's in Australia and she talks about op shops. I don't know what that is. It seems to be like what we would call a charity shop or in the States you, you'd call it thrifting. For us, it's a charity shop. I'm assuming that's, anyway, some kind of second hand, the <laughs> worst place where you buy second hand things. And she's had some amazing textile bargains. I'll try and remember to link her below. Check her out if you haven't already. This is lovely. This feels really old, this one. And well well uh, washed and looked after and yeah. Oh, I, I remember something like this from one of my bizarre packs. I love these ones. Oh, it feels so lovely. The Brodery Anglaise again. Nice. This is a really good mixture of um textures oh that's one of my favorites look at that beautiful that's the right side of relief that feels like um that feels like it could have been like a uh, posh neck curtains <laughs> nothing wrong with that lovely way to use them is a cotton lace Another bit of this kind of, uh, what do you call it? It's like, um, is it fillet crochet? I can't remember what you call it now. Anyway, beautiful. And the last piece, oh, this is an unusual one. So this is like plastic. It must have been a table cover or tray cloth or something. It's like an embossed plastic. So that's a bit different, isn't it? It's nice to have those different textures. And it's not overly shiny or anything, otherwise I wouldn't like it. That's okay. All right. So 9 95 and we've got one, two, 20, got about 25 pieces. Um, 9 95. I, I'm not saying it's, it's not good because there are some beautiful pieces in there and some of those I would say are quite old. Um, some are newer and more modern, you know, you've got this kind of thing. Um, although even that could be, could be quite vintage actually. I don't know how far back that kind of thing would go. Certainly to the 60s. I'm not sure I'd pay 9 95 five again for that seems quite a lot um and if you compare that with what you get in a bizarre pack that's not so but you can't really compare them like for like because this is something different but I'm, I'm more impressed with this for 7.95 than i am for this for 9.95 but having said that perhaps that's a bit unfair i don't know it's funny isn't it it's because in my mind i'm thinking oh this is a tenner and that's only just over a fiver but it's not really is it it's just the way my head works. Okay, another something completely different. So this one, these are bigger squares. These are the ones that are like 12 inches ish. So this is called Duck Egg Blue and Salmon Pink Fabric Scraps Vintage Cottage Core Style Remnant Bundle. So this is 11.95. So that's just quite a smarts a bit, but it looks beautiful. Okay. Just open this all up and then I'll go through. Oh, this feels lovely. So this cottage core, I'd never heard of cottage core. I think it's kind of a kind of eclectic mixture of styles that you would expect to get in cottage furnishings. Oh, this feels so lovely. Oh, goodness, pimples are back. Look at that. <laughs> oh, isn't that gorgeous? I wish you could feel it. It just feels really, really lovely. That's a big enough piece to do something substantial with, isn't it? I love that. And this is one of those kind of, it's like a Sanderson type fabric, isn't it? That's what it feels like, like upholstery kind of fabric. Um, like cotton sateen, I think you call this. It's quite a heavy weight woven fabric, but it's got a sort of 
uh, subtle sheen to it, a sort of satin sheen. <gasps> so this is a bit like this one, but in a different colourway, a different pattern. The colours are just gorgeous. Those really sing to me, those colours. They're even nice. These are even nicer than they looked on, in the photos. Beautiful to think very hard about. Well, I'll use that on. Oh, look. This feels like silk. Yeah. It's got this kind of... Um, the pattern feels almost painted on. So I don't know. I don't know what that is. Such a delicious colour. It really is. Would we have called that Eau de Neal? Oh, look. Yeah. It's this like a... Um, it's like a slubby silk. Is it called Shantung? I can't remember what it's called. Sort of thing. Um, I remember making bridesmaids dresses out of it years ago. Absolutely gorgeous colour, which is almost, almost there on the on my screen. It's just very slightly yellower. Really lovely. No idea what I'm going to do with these, but <laughs> now is it that way? No, it's that way. That's the right way up. Beautiful. That's like a kind of pale taupe colour would you call it? Pale coffee? Oh look at this. This reminds me of my, my first mother-in-law's house. <laughs> I think she might have had this as curtains. I just really, it just looks really familiar. Definitely more curtain weight than upholstery weight. It's a thinner one. Beautiful. Oh and then we got a piece of velvet in that lovely apricot colour. That is yum. Really yum. Another piece of that silk. Two pieces of the silk. One in that Kind of a kind of a peach colour and a sort of a another kind of taupe colour. Slightly deeper than it looks there because the camera's catching the sheen. So one, two, eleven seems a funny number. So it actually says a ten piece bundle, but I've got eleven, so I'll get. So I'm very happy with, with them. So um they they're costing me just over a pound a piece, these. Um which, you know, I suppose if, if I was in a fabric shop and I just saw that one square for a pound, I probably wouldn't pay that for it, would I? Um, but seeing all of these put together, I, I would. I think, you know, I think a combination of those and those would make a fantastic base for a fabric journal. I've got one more to go through. Again, something completely different. So this is the velvet bundle. Let's have a look at the prices. This is the, the velvet scrap pack. I got a 50 gram bundle. You can get them 100 gram bundles. Apparently there are approximately 30 pieces, but they're quite small pieces. And But this was only 5 95 So again, you know, if I was in a fabric shop and I saw this bag, so this just in a bag for 5 95 would I? Pay? Yeah, I probably would. I probably would. Okay. Let's have a look at this. It's nice, kind of a soft. Some the sheen on some of these is going to make the colour look funny. It's kind of a soft lilac, I suppose, pinkish lilac. It's like a mole. <laughs> uh, like a soft dove grey. Oh, beautiful! That would go with those, wouldn't it? Beautiful. Um, deep green colour. Oh, I'm going to enjoy these. I'm going to enjoy... Oh, goose pimples are back! <laughs> Some lovely colours. Some of them are quite small. It's probably about the smallest, but definitely usable for the kind of thing I do. Definitely usable. Um, they're just um, synthetic velvets, but seem to be quite nice quality ones. You know, it's not any kind of nasty velour or anything. Some velour is fine, so it can be book though, can't it? And this is this seems to be quite nice. Good old mix of colours, definitely. And you know, the other thing that of course appeals to me is they are, again they're all like like the bizarre ones, they're all reclaimed fabrics. Um and that's hugely appealing to me. I love this one, it's like it's all I don't know if it's meant to be crushed like that, but it but it is, and that just makes it extra pretty. 
that's doing weird things on the camera it's absolutely gorgeous so that's 5.95 so um overall i would say i'm pretty happy with these with these purchases get my face out of the way we don't need that in the thumbnail so uh, overall i would say i'm very happy with that I'll, i will put that link in the description box i need to see if i can find it again um you definitely get i think it must be 10 percent off your first order i know where the code is though i can find the code again or, but i can't remember what you get for i think it's 10 percent off your first order and i'm sure i get something or other as well probably points i think they have a loyalty scheme called butterflies or something so it's probably points in that anyway but yes yeah, so i do use that if, if you if you think about um buying anything because it's um it's always nice to get a bit of money off isn't it um so yeah what do you think what do you think i'm gonna go i'll put the link to the to the website in the in the discord community as well if you haven't joined our discord community already you won't know but there is a channel in there called temptation temptatious shopping avoid it like the plague <laughs> if you don't want if you if you're trying to um rain in your crafty spending because uh, there's a lot of rabbit holes in there but i will put the link to this in there as well so i think that's all i've got uh, all i've got to say for now that's um that's got that out of my system so um i'm gonna go and pack up some of those other fabrics over there now and make up some more kits oh it's i'm having a i mean i'm wallowing in fabric this week it's brilliant i'm having a lovely time um thank you very much for joining me i hope you enjoyed that little peek and i will see you again really soon <laughs>